that tonight, but that's not the story in East Ridge. They held their Christmas parade tonight despite the snow. The event was canceled almost a month ago, but there were people there that made it happen tonight. Alex George tells us how they got the parade up and running tonight. Hello, Alex. Well, Josh, it was just one determined group of business owners. They say they know how much this parade means to the community, and even more than that, they know how much it means to the kids here. They said it really helps them get into the Christmas spirit, and they just weren't about to let them down. The East Ridge Christmas Parade is a tradition that the community holds dear. The community come together and uh, you know just have a good old country Christmas. So when the event was canceled in early November, these business owners knew they had to help, even if that meant planning a parade in a matter of weeks. The previous parade got canceled and we just got together and, and we strongly believe that the kids of East Ridge deserved a parade. And tonight, the organizers say, to their surprise, the parade was packed. A lot more entries than we thought we're having to sign them up as they go. Some people coming to see elaborate floats, others to meet one special guest and ask him for something under the Christmas tree. Phone. Not just any phone. What kind of phone? iPhone. But other people, like Ronald Klein, helped put on this parade not just for his son to have fun. It'll keep him active when he's older. It'll keep him in the community doing things. And Maybe one that you know get involved a little bit more like I, I try to do around around the town. He says staying involved in the community activities will help his son be a more productive citizen, even at such a young age. So this community says that they saw a need and knew what to do to fix it. But the reason behind all of it It's all about the kids right now. Christmas, everybody. The parade ended at 9 tonight, and then everyone came here to Camp Jordan Park for s'mores, a bonfire, and a concert. And some of the people who own the floats here at the parade told me that they're already preparing for next year. No matter what, rain or snow, like the snow right now, they're going at it once again. For now, reporting live in Eastridge, Alex George for News Channel 9. Alex, thanks so much. You can see the snow.